Hello, I am back again. Your online crew captain, Helen, is here again in my little palm tree setting. It's awesome to be live with you today. I'm going to talk about Facebook terms and policies. We want to keep you out of Facebook jail, do we not? Nobody wants to end up in Facebook jail. Nobody wants to do the wrong thing. So how do we keep you out of Facebook jail? How do we keep your business ticking along nicely, um, you know, without getting into trouble with Facebook? That's what we're going to talk about today. It is quite a large topic, which obviously I can't, um, you know, go into detail about, um, you know, t well, all the ins and outs, but I do want to highlight some specific things you need to know about. Hello, Leslie, and you've remembered Henry. Um, so thank you, Leslie. If you're not aware, if there's, hey, Rob, how are you going? We've, uh, this is a new set that I went live with yesterday because my little puppy is no longer on live with me. That was Harley. So we've now got Henry. So my boys named um, a little fishy here, my nice little colorful fish. This is Henry. So it's the Helen and Henry show now, not um, Helen and Harley. And I am your online crew captain, hence the hat. We'll get rid of that. So this is, um, you know, just a bit of fun, you know, with branding. But this is so relevant to what we're going to talk about today. You know, the whole branding thing and being an influencer online and those kind of things. Hello, Kathy. How are you? Lovely to see you on live. Hi, Tina. How are you going? Um, so we are here, like I've sort of said that we're, we're an online crew. So we're just a crew, we're a community of online, you know, home-based business owners trying to leverage social media to build our business the right way, the modern way. No more spam, no more old school tactics. We want to learn how to leverage social media the modern way. Hey Heather, how are you? Lovely to see you on live. Drop me those palm trees. Thank you, Heather. Palm trees, palm trees, palm trees. That's our mascot emoji. Um, here, the palm trees. Obviously, I've taken that to a whole new level <laughs> in my setting. Um, but just to, you know, we are a community, an online crew, a community of home-based business owners learning to leverage social media, modern strategies to build our business so we can get rid of the stigma that, um, you know, home-based business owners tend to, tend to have. Um, and my broader mission here is to raise the professionalism of people in the home-based business industry, particularly online, that you're actually doing the right things. You're not pushing your business on anybody because that's what pisses everybody off basically, excuse my language, but you, you know what that's like. So we're here to learn the modern way and um, hello Henry too as well. Thank you for saying hello to Henry. Henry's my little um, fishy here and we've got a little, it might be a bit low, down here. I've got the replica cruise ship that we're all going on. When uh, businesses are all thriving because we're using the internet to build our business, we're doing an awesome job of it. We've all branded ourselves really well. We're huge influencers online and we're all sipping, for me, margaritas, for you, whatever <laughs> it is for you on this cruise ship. Okay, so that's what we're all about. If this is the first time that you've been on with me live, please put the word new down below so I can give you a, a special shout out. Um, you know, I've pretty much explained what I do. I help home-based business owners leverage social media to build their business online the modern way. So we want to get rid of old school tactics. We want to get rid of, um, you know, all the uncomfortableness about building your business and really leverage social media to do it the right way. Okay, now one of the things that we have to be extremely careful of when we're building our business on social media and I'm talking specifically today about Facebook that's majority of where I build is um, Facebook's terms and policies and what you need to adhere to now majority of people will go on Facebook and won't even give the terms and policies a second look or a second thought until somebody tells them you know otherwise that oh, I don't know if you should be really doing that but you you do need to be aware of them because you can very quickly get yourself in Facebook jail if you're not and of course, we miss Harley too. Yeah, it is it is really strange, Tina, not bringing him in here after doing that for like six months. And a lot of you guys know Harley, and it was certainly a lively character that kept us all ent entertained. But, um, you know, he's just, he's still a puppy in theory, but he's not, not a puppy in size, should we say. So we're going to have to put up with Henry uh, for, from now on. And that was the name that my boys, um, you know, came up with. So... 
there are so many different areas of Facebook policies, um, you know, and terms that you need to be aware of. And I want to read one out to you. Now, I did post this. Uh, was it last week? After a Facebook Live I did last week. But when I posted it the first time, I went, somebody else put in the feed, um, I can't find it. And it wasn't there. So I posted it, but not many people saw it. So I am going to post in the comments section of this Facebook Live, when I finish this Facebook Live, this little excerpt from Facebook, which says, I've got it in front of me, I'm going to read it to you. It's against Facebook terms to, I can't read my own writing, oh, to use your profile to represent something other than yourself. Example, your business. And you could permanently lose access to your account if you don't convert it to a page, meaning a business page. So in that language, we're not actually changing a personal page to a business page because that's sort of how you could interpret it. We've got a personal profile. We're leaving that for social media. It's social, social purposes. We can create curiosity and intrigue over there, but we are not doing any type of business or representing a business over there. Otherwise, your page will permanently get shut down. Now, you need to take this seriously. I heard a leader on a live only... Hey, Courtney, how are you? Have you seen my new cat, um, set, Courtney? This is my post Harley. Harley's gone. Well, not gone, Courtney. I'm just, he's just too big and too um, full on for me to have on my lives anymore. So my little palm tree emoji. I'm bracing. We're all going on a cruise ship, Courtney. You coming? Um, we're drinking cocktails because all our businesses are going to be thriving. And, um, you know, we're, we're just rocking our businesses on this cruise ship. I don't know if you can see it, Courtney. There's a little repli <laughs> replica cruise ship down here. And we're all going partying. Um, so hence the theme and the, um, aloha. Is that what you say? <laughs> so Courtney's coming. Awesome. So getting back on, back on um, topic. Yeah, I know. Poor Harley. Um, he's still out there. I'll say hello to everyone. Um, I'll say hello to him from, <laughs> for all of you guys. Um, so love you too, Courtney. Um, so back to sort of the Facebook sort of policies. Um, you can create curiosity and intrigue if you're cluey enough to know how to do that. Most network marketers, home-based business owners are not. They are just following what their upline has told them. Um, they're putting pictures up with discounts, specials. Um, people are creating these images with prices of pack one, pack two, pack three, pack four, putting it on their personal Facebook page, trying to sell their stuff. Let me read this sentence to you again from Facebook terms. It is against the Facebook terms to use your profile to represent something other than yourself. Example, a business. Uh, and you will permanently lose access to your account if you do not convert it to a page. So permanent, no questions allowed to be asked, no recourse, permanently gone. How would you feel if that happened to you? Not only is it the every now and again post that you're doing to try to promote your business, it's your, your, your personal profile that's gone. So if you blur the lines... If you are promoting your business on your personal Facebook page, you are at risk, big risk. Now, what I started to say before, before the beautiful Courtney distracted me, is I heard a leader, big leader, huge successful network marketer say on one of his lives, only last week or the week before, week before, I think, saying, people are asking me, can I run my business off my personal Facebook page because I believe it might get shut down? He said, no, that is not true. It's true, guys. It's happening now. What he would be referring to is you can create curiosity and intrigue. You can tell really good stories. You can speak about experience, a testimonial. Oh, you're always a beautiful distraction, Courtney. Don't worry about that. There's things that you can do on a personal Facebook page to subtly promote your business. Um, you can do like I've spoken about the last week or so. 
You can, if you've got a business page, you can promote your business page, tag your personal page of something of value, and then it shows up on your personal Facebook feed and people are like, where'd that come from? What's that page? They can go and self-discover. You want people to self-discover your business, your products, your services. Um, maybe you've helped somebody achieve something. Tell that story. But telling a story is very different to, I do this, I've got this, you need some. It's awesome. Very, very different strategy. So you need to learn how to do it the right way. Mariska, thank you for this info, Helen. So many people will suffer when they get shut down. Yeah, and so many people are still getting away with it. So that's why they're not listening. It's only a matter of time, guys. And I want to teach you to be proactive, not reactive. I don't want for you that you're blurring the lines because your upline saying, don't listen to that. Or a guru is saying, no, that's not true. So you go ahead and keep doing it. Because somebody said it's not true and your upline said, just promote the stuff anyway. Then your page gets shut down. You go, oh, panic, permanently deleted. And then you're like, okay, I need to set up a business page. So you are being 100% reactive. Get on the front foot, guys. Don't be reactive to a problem. Be proactive. Perceive what's happening on Facebook. Follow the trends. Can you not see what's going on here? And it's written in black and white. I've just read it to you. And after I get off this Facebook Live, I'll post what I was reading in the comments below. Show your friends and family in this industry. Share this Facebook Live to people that you work with that are disagreeing with you about this concept of using a personal page to promote your business. Share this live out. Tag somebody that you know that you've had a disagreement with. Well, that's not true. I do it all the time. And there are leaders in this industry that have built their business that way. They've got authority, they've got credibility, and it works for them because they've got authority and credibility and people are listening to them. Success breeds success. Are you successful yet? Do you have thousands of people following you yet? Do you have hundreds of customers yet? If you don't, those strategies won't work for you. It, they just won't. You need to be an influencer. Learn to be an influencer online. And I'm going to give you a solution for that, that in a minute. I'm just going to read some comments. Uh, Tiffany, so how would you convert pay over to... All right, so that's what I said earlier. Maybe you missed it. You're not actually converting. You want to keep your personal Facebook page a personal page. You don't want to convert it to a business page. You want to keep your personal business page personal business. Now I'm blurring the lines. You want to keep your personal Facebook page there. You want to keep that there for social reasons. Promote your lifestyle. Use Facebook stories. That's all on your personal profile. Create interest in your business, what you're up to, your products through Facebook stories. Facebook stories is the new feed. Keep up with me here, guys. I'm giving you the goods to be up with what's happening. So you definitely want to keep a personal Facebook page and you need that as your starting point to, um, you know, grow um, your profile, your image, your influence. This is what I'm going to be talking about. Hi, Annabella. Did I pronounce that correctly? Awesome to see you on live, Annabella. Um, I hope I said that, you know, pronounced it the right way. Um, great to see you here. So you want to create, learn to create influence. So I'm not going to go into detail about this now. I'm going to give you some solutions for this and I'll talk more about it a bit tomorrow. But you want to become an influencer on social media. Can you become an influencer through your personal Facebook page? Yes, you can. Various ways we can do that. I'll talk about that tomorrow. But how do we solve this problem? So back to the question that was asked, you don't convert your personal page to a business page, you create a business page. Thank you, Annabella. Oh, and I have pronounced it correct, because that's good. So we're keeping our personal Facebook page. We're learning to become an influencer on social media. If people don't like it, don't worry about it. They're not your tribe. They're not your crew. I'm creating an online crew here. I'm flowing different things into my first personal Facebook page. I'm using Facebook stories more. Um, you know, all those kind of things. It's creating influence. Not everyone's going to follow me. Some people are going to look at this new branding set that I'm going to go, <laughs> what's that all about? They just won't get it. Your vibe attracts your tribe. 
I will attract my own tribe, my own crew, those that choose not to be part of this journey, look down on me, don't follow me, don't understand me, I don't care. They're not my, they're not my crew. You guys are my crew and I'm here to help you leverage social media the modern way to build your business so we can all get on that little cruise ship there. Well, hopefully the cruise ship is a lot bigger than that one. <laughs> I think we might sink if we all try to hop on that one. What do you think? <laughs> so, you know, this is all about a larger, you know, mission for me. So what we want to do, we're going to keep our personal page, but we learn how to leverage that to create influence. We'll carry on that conversation tomorrow and into the next week. And I've got a special training I'm doing on this. Mm, not next week, the week after. Yeah, I'll look at my dates in a minute. And then we're creating a business page and you've got to learn, if you don't know anything about it, you really want to learn about branding. Now, people are tossing around this word branding, but branding is so much bigger so much bigger than just creating a business page and slapping up some words and a photograph of yourself. You can do that, but if you get your branding wrong, if your message to market is wrong, if you don't talk to your target market, if you don't know who your customer avatar is, all of that kind of stuff, that might be all foreign language to you at the moment, but you need to learn about that. I'm just wrapping up the last week of my branding course at the moment and I am opening it up in another two weeks time. Mariska's already in there. She's already one, the first one in there who's gonna get the special bonus one-on-one -on -one with me. So if branding is something you need to learn more about, put the word branding down below so I can send you the information for that. And start branding. There's so much more to branding though, guys. Um, than just setting up a business page. As I said, if you don't understand your target market, your customer avatar, your message to market, you know, all that kind of stuff, you can set up a business page because you know it's the right thing to do because I've just told you Facebook terms don't like it and you could get your personal Facebook page shut down permanently. But you could waste a hell of a lot of time setting up a business page and you're talking to all the wrong people. Your message to market is all wrong and you think you're becoming an influencer and you're just wasting your time. So you need to learn about branding and you need to become sort of an influencer, um, you know, online. There's major shifts happening online, guys. You need to be aware of this. And what I'm trying to get across is be proactive. Don't ever get to the stage where your page is at risk of getting shut down and then you've gone, oh, what do I do now? It's happening now. I think I told you last week, I got an email from somebody that I follow and it was an email because they couldn't do it through Facebook because their personal Facebook page had been shut down. And business page on top of that, both of them gone. Actually went to Facebook and asked for it to be reviewed, got their Facebook business page back and personal page, I believe, but no advertising, not allowed to boost a post or do anything. There's huge ramifications if you blur the lines. So you want to learn how to brand yourself properly and become an influencer online. So two things that I am doing for you guys in the next couple of weeks. Well, uh, three things really. I have tossed up for quite some time now whether I should start a group. And I've always, or well, the last few months, I'm like, no, no, don't want to do it. Don't want to do it. I've got a private Facebook group for a community about attraction marketing, specifically about attraction marketing. I have a Facebook group to do with my branding course, which is opening up in another two uh, weeks. It's the, the cheapest branding course you'll ever come across. I work with you for a month to get your branding all worked out. So that's opening up in another two weeks. Just put the word branding down below if you want just to have a look at the information to do with that. So I've got my group that I help look after those people with branding. And then I've got a VIP group, which is high level Facebook advertising, people that are really committed to building their business um, you know, online the right way, they're doing Facebook ads. So we're having a higher level conversation about lots of different things, okay? So they're groups, but there's, there's some kind of entry point to get into that group. You can't get in any of those groups unless you enter those sort of channels. So I am starting a free group, guys. I'm opening it up, it's not open now, there's no link for you to join now, and there's a reason for that. So I have hit, um, hang on, Mariska, take control as we don't own our Facebook page or have any control over network marketing company decisions. Exactly right, and that's why you're branding yourself. 
You don't own your network marketing company. You don't have any control over the products, the business, the distribution, the prices. You don't control Jack. When you brand yourself, you do. You're your business's biggest asset, not the company that you represent. So people go into business with people they know, like, and trust. That's why you want to brand yourself, and that's why you want to become an influencer online. And we're going to continue that discussion over the next couple of weeks. So good comment, Mariska. Love it. So getting back to the group thing. So my private groups now, you have to basically purchase something to get in them. I don't have a free group. But what's happening as this journey continues, and most of you would not be at this stage yet, but I've got over 10,000 followers and I'm about to hit 10,000 likes. I'm about 60 people away or something like that. And when you get over 10,000 likes, you get extra things that pop up on a public page. But what happens, and hopefully you guys would know this about that algorithm, the more people and the more eyeballs that are on you, Facebook's gonna make a decision. Okay, Helen's done a Facebook Live. Who are we gonna send this Facebook Live to? Out of 10,000 people. Hey Stephanie, how are you going? Awesome to see you on live. So I do a Facebook Live, and Facebook does not send my Facebook Live out to all 10,000 people. It just doesn't happen. That's the reality of the Facebook algorithm. So they've got to scan through all those 10,000 people and like, like who, who should we send this live to? The bigger your audience gets, there's more risk that the people that really want to see my information are not going to see it. So why am I starting a free Facebook group? Free is to make sure the people that are truly interested in building their business on social media, truly wanna know modern strategies, which I'm teaching you. Um, you know, last week I told you about the premiere function of videos and Facebook stories, like keeping up with all that kind of stuff to promote your business on social media, that you're in my free group, so you're more likely to see my information than here. I have a lot of people that follow me on this page just for personal development, and that's awesome, and I love those people here, but do they wanna to listen to my Facebook Lives about social media and how to build your business online? Probably not, but are they being sent my Facebook Live? Maybe, and they're not watching it. So it's hurting me and it's hurting my audience. So there's lots of things I can do in a group that I can't do here. I can't save anything here. So you guys might know I've started to do little training videos for you guys. Um, I've done a few, just little things like, how do you download your Facebook Live onto your computer? And I've done a little tutorial for you. That's so far down the Facebook feed now, whereas in a group, I can store it in a thing called units. So there's things I can do in a group that I can't do for you here. So if you're really interested in um, you know, social media, you're more likely to see my information in my group. How do you keep up with so, so many pages? Yeah, it's a very good question, but they are for specific purposes. So one group is just about attraction marketing, one group is just about branding, and one group is just for my VIP, so this for specific purposes. And this is almost why I fought doing a free group, because it's like, ugh, it's another group. But it's just to make sure that you guys that are truly part of my online crew, you truly wanna to listen to what I have to say and not miss any information and I can store some information for you, which I can't do on this page, that you're getting that information for me. It's free here on this page, but it doesn't mean you're always gonna see it. It doesn't mean you're always gonna be able to pull it back up because it's long gone down the Facebook feed. So there's things that I can do for you in a group. I can recognize certain, and I, I can recognize certain contributions from people that are active in my group. I can reward you for being active in, in my group. I can build on the sense of community that we've got here in a group. Now, just listening to what I'm saying about groups, I would not recommend that you look at what I'm doing and go, oh, I need a group. You don't need a group. You want to start with a business page. You want to learn how to brand it. You want to build influence on your business page and your personal page. That's where you want to start. You don't want to just have a group for the sake of a group. I'm creating a group now because the amount of people that are on my page. I want to make sure that the people that want to listen to my information that are truly a part of my crew actually don't miss the information and I can do that in a group. So you can get alerted when I go in the group. If you've got notifications on on this page, but you think about it, 10,000 people, and there might be seriously, like, I don't know, a couple of hundred maybe, that are really tuned into what I'm teaching here. So I want to make sure that you guys that are really tuned in, um, so it's not going to be a lot of, um, you know, different content. It's just going to, I'm going to give you, you know, um, 
special stuff over there. So the first special thing, this leads me to talking about today about being an influencer online. I'm going to do, open up that group next week. Now, why I'm not opening it up now or have a link for you now is because there's a new thing with groups that if you join, if a group opens up and you, I'm still not sure whether it's 48 or 72 hours. Still not sure of that. I can't find the answer. Um, if you join that, the group opens up and you join that group within 48 or 72 hours, you're a founding member of the group and you get a little badge, which is called a founding member. Supposedly, I haven't opened up a new group since this has come into practice um, or become available. So we'll see how this plays out. So I don't want to open the group until next week. I'm going to let you know when that is. And I want you to guys to join that group within that 48 hours. So we'll say 48 rather than 72. So you become a founding member, you know, of that group. And then three days later, I'm going to do a special training in that group about being in, an in, becoming an influencer on social media. And I'm only doing the training in that group. I'm not doing it on this page. So you're going to need to be in that group to get that special training about being an influencer um, online. So it's just my way of making sure that those people um, that truly want this up-to-date information on social media and building your business online that you're not missing you know anything and it enables me to store information that I can't store here okay so I would not recommend that you take from this I need to start a group because the Facebook algorithm and people not seeing my stuff and whatever you don't want to do this strategy until you get enough fans and followers that that becomes you know something that's relevant for you in your business does that make sense if it makes sense please send me some likes and loves or drop some palm trees because I don't want you to think because I'm creating a free group that that's something that you need to do. You don't need to do that. You want fans and followers on a business page first. And then when you get lots of fans and followers, then you look after the people that are truly part of your crew. You with me? I hope you're following me. So um, I'll talk about it more in the next sort of week, but I'm not opening up that group until uh, it's next Monday. So I'll let you know, and then I'm doing the training. So I'll let you know the dates as I'll, I'll keep um, sort of talking about it. Hello, Eric. How are you? Lovely to see you on live. So let me check my notes. I think I've talked. Yep, I've talked way long enough. Um, and I also just want to highlight that, um, you know, with the trouble that, Zuckerberg has been in lately in Facebook land and yeah Captain Helen Risk <laughs> um, you know and people complaining about their Facebook feeds and um, seeing too much promotional sort of stuff um, people only want to see a content of value so your branding becoming an influencer being proactive about these kind of things you've got to be somebody that's becoming a person of value and um, you know building on that I've forgotten what I was gonna say oh that's right and so there's two big pushes from Zuckerberg and how Facebook is gonna play out in the future and that's truly a sense of community so creating communities and becoming you know an influencer online so you know you can go you can do Facebook ads and those kind of things and I do and you can create things um, but it doesn't mean that I'm a good influencer just if I can do successful Facebook ads so Branding and becoming an influencer, it all comes down to you. How you do Facebook Lives, how you present yourself online, what you're creating, the value you're bringing. So becoming an influencer online is a huge part of the success of your, you know, bringing your business online and being successful. Am I making sense? Drop me some palm trees if everything of what I've sort of made sense. But I truly want to highlight to you, and I'm going to drop it in the comments section below, I'll do it when I get off, that terms about if you are representing a business on your personal Facebook page, what's the word? You could permanently lose access to your account. That's not what we want for you. We want you to set up a business page, still becoming an influencer on your personal page. Let's, you know, make all of that happen um, so you can build a thriving business. So I hope that was helpful for you today. Let me know if that's valuable. Oh, sorry. What's my fish's name? Henry. <laughs> it's still so new. And because I didn't choose the name, the kids chose the name. It's just not quite sunk in yet. So say goodbye, Henry. For those of you that weren't on live with me yesterday, I explained that Henry is actually, you put a little tea light candle in his mouth. There's a little door that opens 
and the light flickers all through his um, gills. It's really, really cool at night time. So I'll have to do it live at night time. Turn, I do have a light on. Turn off the light and let the candle do its thing. We'll have a romantic Facebook Live. What do you think? <laughs> okay, Kathy, whoops, but I have to be careful because I keep knocking him over. So that's enough from me today. Thank you, you awesome people, for dropping the palm tree emoji and being on here with me live. Stick around the next week or so, guys, for entry into my free group and for that special training about becoming an influencer online because I'm only going to do it in that group, not here. Um, so you want to get in that group when I open it, but I'll keep you um, you know, updated with all of that. And when I have the link for the group, I'll let you know that as well. So love you guys heaps. Thank you for um, staying with me on live and I will catch you at the same time tomorrow. Aloha. <laughs> See ya.